If you're anything like me, your chat GPT is just a complete mess of random conversations. Now, OpenAI have introduced projects to the paid version of ChatGPT. But what about the rest of us? I know you know the struggle's real, endlessly scrolling to find that one chat you know you had but you can't seem to locate. I've been there, I've tried plugins, folder organizers, you name it. But they either break, they're too complicated, or just so bloated and try to do way more than I actually need. Sometimes you just want something simple that works, right? So before we dive in, if this video helps you out in any way, please hit the like button so more people can find this quick fix. And if you want more tips on making EdTech easier, consider subscribing. Now, let me show you the solution. All right, here it is. Simple but effective. Just create folders in Chrome or whatever browser you use and bookmark your important conversations by topic. Done. Let me show you my setup really quickly. As you can see, I've got a folder called ChatGPT Conversations right here. Inside, I've got subfolders for things like content ideas, client work, and even one for proposals. Each subfolder has bookmarks for the exact threads that I need to come back to. It's simple, but honestly saves me so much time. I know some of you might work in education like me, so here's an idea. Create folders for different roles or tasks that you manage. For example, you could have threads for onboarding new teachers, the art and design team, or curriculum manager. Bookmark those key threads by role or project, and suddenly it's like having a digital filing cabinet for all your AI chats. Now, if that's all you need, feel free to crack on with it. But if you want the full breakdown with some tips on how I organize by project, client, or content type, stick around and I'll walk you through it. Step one, open Chrome. <laughs> I know, groundbreaking stuff, right? Now, head over to your bookmarks bar, right-click and hit add folder. I call mine ChatGPT Conversations. You can name yours whatever makes sense to you. Step two, when you're in ChatGPT and you've got a conversation you know you'll want to come back to, just hit that little star in the URL bar to bookmark it. Pop it into your shiny new folder. Here's where it gets good. Make subfolders. I've got folders for content ideas, proposals, client work, you name it. When I need to pull up something fast, I just dive into the folder, click the link and boom straight back to where I left off. For those of you that are working with clients, create a folder for each client and stash all of their relevant ChatGPT threads in there. No more scrolling through endless chats trying to remember where you left off. I found that adding the client or project name to the bookmark title is a game changer. So instead of ChatGTP proposal help, I'll rename it and call it something like Client X Proposal Draft. So there you go, simple, quick, and it actually works. If this helps you out, then drop a like and let me know in the comments how you're gonna be organizing your chats. And hey, if OpenAI finally gives us folders in the free chat GPT, I'll be the first to celebrate. I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip.